We're going to go ahead and put some string on. I'm going to show you how to run it back and forth. I tied it on top here. And what we're doing for this design is following our lines. First one I'm going to do here. And I'm looping it this way towards the right so that when I come back it has to cross over itself. Now this will make a lot more sense the difference of crossing or not crossing when we use some a different straight thread or twine in a minute. But this is what I'm doing for the moment. I'm crossing, going to the right, underneath, coming back up, and then I'm going to the pin below the one I've just completed. And on that one, I'm coming from the top down and going the opposite direction. Coming this way with the hook, hooking it on there. And then I'm going back down, and then I'm coming this way, and I'm going to the next one down, and then I'm coming up back over there, and coming back up to the next one down. and going out until we get to the end. Then there you would normally tie that off, but I want to show you something. Can you see the weave in here? It follows the lines that you had on your drawing and it creates an illusion of movement. If you will just check with our next segment, I'm going to use some different type of string that will allow you to see this a lot better.